All right, here's the scenario. You're in the arid scab lands. It's about 24 degrees Fahrenheit. It started to snow. The cloud cover has come down and you have lost your bearings. It's also getting dark. And unless you want to walk off of one of these cliffs, you're gonna have to stay overnight. You got no shelter, no sleeping bag, maybe a few things in your pocket, maybe a day pack. We're gonna have to be resourceful, but we can find shelter out here. Come on, I'll show you. All right, at first glance, you might be tempted to tuck up underneath one of these basalt cliff faces. That's not a very good idea. With all this frost heave and, and ice pushing on these rocks, that's how all these got down here. And any one of these come down on your head would turn a bad situation even worse. All right, out here we don't have the luxury of things like bamboo or fern or large groves of trees to build our shelters with. Basically, we've got some small brushwood, grasses, and things like this. This is tule reed or bulrush. And we've got quite a bit of it, especially in the lowland areas. You wanna be careful if you're using this, this method that I'm gonna show you, that it is freezing temperatures out or that you're slightly above the water table. You don't wanna be building in a marsh. This stuff is hollow and like it, it floats and can be used for all sorts of things and has been used for all sorts of things for a very long time. So this is kind of what we're looking for. What this stuff does is in the winter time when it gets a little snow on it, gets a little heavy, it actually bends down and kind of forms a little bit of a uh, area where you can make a little tunnel, a little nest, and keep your butt alive in very cold temperatures. What you're gonna do is find a big enough patch where you can get down in here. Now, don't just tromp on the top. You wanna build a nice little circular, a little tunnel inside there, okay? And it's very easy. You don't need any tools. Let's, uh, I've got one set up over here a little further along. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but my little survival shelter is right over there. Let's go check it out. All right, so this is a fairly large patch of this. And this is only about two and a half, three feet tall. You can see I've got quite a bit of a tunnel built there. Real simple. Crawling in here and doing this. That's it. Now you need it long enough for you to crawl into, but you don't want it too big. You want it to be like a sleeping bag because that's essentially what we're building. Now we're gonna fill the top in. Let's go get some materials. Now we're gonna gather up some grass and it's gonna help insulate our little survival nest. And this stuff's really easy to gather. You don't need any tools. Just pick it and in a few minutes, you can have armloads of it. Get more than you think if you've got the time. It'll keep you a lot warmer and Honestly, this stuff, once you get a pretty good thickness of this, you'd be very surprised how warm this will be. Now what we want to do is gather up some more of this reed to thatch our roof. And you can do this without a knife. It's a little tougher, but you can do it. But even just a pocket knife is a big help. This stuff cuts pretty easy. and you can gather what you need in no time. So this is our roof. We've got some holes in here. We need to patch those up. I'm gonna take some a grass, a bunch of grass that I found. I'm gonna run it here. And then just cover, start covering with more weeds. Even if it's windy, you can tuck the edges of the reed down into the, the stuff that you've arched. Very easy to work with this stuff. That's really darkened up in there. That's what we want. That'll keep the snow out, keep the draft out, keep the warmth in. Now we're gonna line the bottom with our grass. Again, it's just grass. It took five minutes to pick all this. Now we're going to save a little bit of this for our door. 
Well, of course we're gonna have a door. How are you gonna keep the vacuum salesman out? All right, so we built this a little cozy. We did that on purpose. We're going to try and preserve what little heat we do have, and that's coming from our body. So, like a uh, sleeping bag is what you're going for. Back in, grab our little stuff that we saved out, and our backpack. Pull the pack up. And block it off. Obviously, the more you have, the better. But this is very cozy. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. If you did enjoy it, could you do me a favor? Give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below if you've ever been stuck in a bad situation. And like I said earlier, if this video does well enough, I will come out here and do a 24 hour uh, overnight to demonstrate a shelter similar to this. Definitely. If the video does well enough, I'm not going to do it for nothing. <laughs> Alright, see you guys next time.